Have you ever wanted to build something quickly? In Timeslips Premium, you can now bill a customer quickly without the processes of entering separate data in several different places before you generate the bill. The core time tracking and billing experience is still present. However, in many cases, there are times where you just want to generate a bill on the fly. This could be for a walk-in customer or a case that doesn't have a lot of detail at the time. For example, you may have someone that walks in to request a quote for services or tasks that will not take very long to do. Rather than switching over to client information to create this client, enter in all of their details, create slips, then go to bills generate bills to print the bill, and finally apply a payment to that bill. You can now launch quick bill where you can create clients, time and expense entries, and generate and approve the bill and apply a payment all in one location. This will save a considerable amount of time when you just want to print a basic bill and move on. Let's walk through an example of using QuickBill to serve a customer. To access QuickBills, from your main menu select Bills, QuickBill, or you can use the shortcut Control Q. Quick Bill displays a simple layout that represents a bill. You can start with creating a new client or choosing an existing client. There are several reasons why an existing client may not appear in this drop down combo box. All of the reasons are accessible by clicking this help icon to the right. Switching back to the new client option, you have the ability to create new clients from this dialog. You don't have to add a mailing address now. And if you're not emailing the bill, you can also skip the email address. You have to enter in a client name, and that name will become the nickname and the full name for this client. You can change any of this information later in client information using the names client info command from the main menu. Let's create a new client and fill in some basic information. On the right side of this form are the invoice date and invoice number fields. Invoice date will use your current bill date. You can change this date to any date you would like without affecting other dates in the system. For new clients, the invoice number defaults to the next global invoice number in your system settings. For existing clients, it is pulled from client information. You can change this number here if needed. When you are ready to detail charges, move to the middle of the form where you can quickly create time and expense entries. There are two sections here, professional services, which details time entries, and additional charges, which details expense entries. We will create one of each by clicking the blue field labeled click to add. Also, you can use control T or control E to quickly make these entries. In our first entry, we can set a date, timekeeper, activity, and description. You can change the date by clicking the calendar button or manually typing in your date. The timekeeper will default to the logged in timekeeper. However, you can change this at any time to another timekeeper of your choice. All of your tasks are available to choose from, and then you can input a description. The description field, although small in size, can hold the same amount of characters as a standard slip and includes grammar and spell checking as well. You can choose an hourly or flat rate slip, and rate rules will operate as expected. To create an additional entry, you can click the Add New Entry button, or you can use the shortcut Control T for time, or Control E for expense. You can create up to 10 entries total for each quick bill. 
you can easily keep track of how many entries total you have at the bottom of the quick bill. With each additional entry, you can see that they are itemized in a clean format off to the side, similar to a bill format. If you have taxes set up, you can choose your tax profile and it too will be itemized with everything else. Timeslips continually updates the bill total to reflect your changes. If this bill will be fully paid, you can use the option to pay in full. Marking this option will show a payment for the total amount due on your bill. Before previewing the bill, we can choose which bill layout format to use. By default, new clients will be set to use the oldest bill layout in your database, and existing clients will use their assigned bill layout. Regardless, you can always change to a different layout by choosing it from the drop-down list. Let's choose My Bill Layout for our new client. Let's preview this bill. Here, you can see what your bill will look like and confirm that all of the information and charges are correct. If you need to make any changes or corrections, simply click the Done button and go back to your Quick Bill to make those changes. You can choose to email your bill directly to the client, or you can choose to print. If you choose print, you can also email the bill. If your client's bill is a $0 bill, or it is paid off with the paid in full option, you will have the ability to mark this client with an inactive or closed classification. This may be helpful if you will not be working with this client again or in the near future. In this example, we will leave them with an open classification. If you would like to know more information during Quick Bill creation, you can choose from the main help topic in the lower left corner of Quick Bill, or the two specific help topics for bill layout and existing clients. This concludes our video on the new Quick Bill feature for Timeslips Premium.